Hi, thanks for stopping by and checking out one of our videos. Real quick, you can find much more training for a low, low price at softwarevideo.com. We've been training people since 1994. We have online memberships for as low as a startup fee is 99 cents for seven days or just $14.95 per month for unlimited training and access 24-7. Or you can buy it on DVDs. You can see what our new releases are. You can find us by software title, by subject, by vendor, and up here at the top through our film strip you can go by our little characters here, graphic design illustrator and so forth. I'm going to scroll down here. Here's our memberships. Very affordable. They make great gifts. So check it out and enjoy this uh, free lesson on this uh, topic. Now we're going to clean up our uh, relationship graphs a little bit. My 12-year-old son said, Dad, I understood everything you said in the last two or three lessons, and even though it was complicated, you made it sound so easy. But it looks confusing. You need to clean it up and add some color to it so you can easily see it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some color. We're going to realign the tables and uh, these uh, relationship graphs to make them <laughs> look a little easier. That's why I left them in this configuration in the last lesson. So let's take a look at the tools, the arrangement icons, everything that we have at our disposal to do just that. Well, of course, uh, he also prompted me to make sure and hit OK to save that from the last lesson. So we'll go File, Manage, Database, and open it back up. But nevertheless, these tools are making a snap to arrange the uh, table relationships in a very unique way. If you notice from our previous lesson, I was using these type of, uh, notice the colors, the separate colors of our tables from our uh, uh, data modeling and entity relationship diagrams. Let's go back. That's where I got them from here. Well, if we wanted to change the color, if we wanted to realign these, I moved this down a little bit because of the lines were intersecting. It wasn't too clear. I didn't really arrange them on purpose. I wanted to save them for this portion. Well, we can simply click, drag, highlight all of them, let go, and notice how we selected just those three. Well, I can easily uh, realign them uh, or perform an action on all three at once. Let's say that I wanted to move my products over here, invoices in the middle since it since products only has one line on it. And let's say I can't quite line up the top. Well, no problem. I can just click, drag, highlight all of them, let go, come here to my arrange tool. And do I want to arrange them vertically? If you can see that barely, that's vertical, this is horizontal. I want to arrange them horizontally. I click on it and it gives me three options relating to that. Do you want to arrange them horizontally or uh, you want to line them at the top edges, the centers, or the bottom edges? Well, let's arrange them according to the top edges. Notice how they line up. Now, they aren't really spaced evenly. Well, I can easily space them. I can come here to this tab. Do you want to distribute them horizontally or vertically? I want to distribute the spacing horizontally. How about that? It just looks so neat and clean. And I, let, I can click out here in the white space to deselect. Now, Notice how we have the primary and foreign keys. The keys are separated by heavy bar, so they're visible just on the top. Well, I've got, let's move this one over a little bit here. Now, I've got, I'll let it go, a lot of field names in customers. If I click here, I can scroll down, or I can move up that little black triangle. If I keep clicking it, I can go down, or this one to go up to look at the fields here. But if I want to see all of them, I can just click on the double-headed arrow and drag it down like that. So that way I can see most of the fields in the um, most of the fields in that table. <clears throat> Likewise, I can simply click the top corner and shrink it and only see the key uh, for that table or just the table uh, title itself. Let's go back. Well. For clarity, let's uh, simply collapse them to just the key area. There we go. And we can see our relationships uh, within the tables extremely clear now. So I guess my son will let me off of the hook now. But lastly, let's highlight and encompass all of them. And let's give them a nice color. We can do so simply by assigning a color to them. 
nice blue that way these four tables are identified as blue meaning there are original uh, you know giving us a middle note that these are our original four and the nice thing about it is is that uh, with this tool if I wanted to create a note here uh, I simply can or we can uh, have access to increasing the size or decreasing the size we can whoops, maybe, or you can just type it straight in here by a hundred percent if you're printing you can print the pages here and it tells you if you want to print them on separate pages or you know the orientation rather for that the table uh, relationships you can click here to edit or to um, the relationship you can edit it here we'll hit cancel if I uh, I have the minus that you know if I click it it uh, decreases in size plus sign um, as I said earlier increases in size etc well if we wanted to create a note we could just click on the text by the way is what I just clicked in case you missed it uh, if I wanted to make a note to the other programmers or whatever I can simply uh, enter in a note here uh, um, hi uh, don't forget the, the table <laughs> or whatever the note is and I can change the font etc have uh, control over all of the color the background color etc and we'll just say okay so now I have a note here to the programmers for this particular uh, session we're working on but we can just uh, select it and, uh, and delete it we can just hit the delete key but at any rate that is the uh, control that we have over our relationship graphs the highlighting the identification of our original tables and the understanding of our one-to-many relationships which are very critical and our naming convention which makes it easy for us to establish these relationships or button the right button into the correct buttonhole after all if we button the top uh, button on our shirt or jacket to the uh, lower uh, cornered um, buttonhole we're going to have quite a problem with the alignment of our jacket with the understanding of one side to the other in this case one table's information to the other uh, so that is why it's critical that we have a naming convention that correctly identifies it easily identifies the keys and it makes our job much easier in uh, proceeding with our database and the applications and the uh, understanding our data in a meaningful way